friends, yesterday I read you the story, The Three Little Pigs, and I promised that I was going to read you a different story, kind of like that today. And it is called The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Now, I wanted to just talk to you for a minute about wolves because I know that a lot of times wolves are bad guys in stories like Little Red Riding Hood and The Three Little Pigs. But I hope you realize that in real life that wolves are really beautiful animals and that they are not out to try to hurt people. And um, so this story has the wolves as the hero and going to see if you enjoy it as much as I do. This is really one of my favorites. And the authors are Eugene Trivazias and Helen Oxenbury. I hope I pronounced that right. I have to have my glasses. There's got kind of small writing in this book. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. So you see very different stories so far, right? The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, My children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother. We will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. So they're kind of similar where they're talking to the mom, but this time it's wolves. Now I want you to predict what kind of houses do you think they're going to make? Thinking about the other story. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Hey, that sounds like a good choice, huh? Please, will you give us some of your bricks? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. So in this story, they all are working together to build one house made of bricks, which remember in the other stories, bricks was a, brick was a very good choice. So there they are building their house together. Let's see if this is going to work. Uh-oh, here comes the big bad pig. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. So here he is. Do pigs usually stand up like that? We know this is a fiction story, right? Because pigs don't walk around like that. And wolves don't play croquet. Have any of you ever played croquet? It's a fun game with balls you put in your backyard. You can play it. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. So they, he's looking in the window, just like the wolf was in the other story. And they're saying, not by the hair on our chinny chin chin, just like the pig said. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. Oh, see, look at that. The brick house is a good house here, too. Do you think the pig is going to give up and just go home and that's the end of the story? I don't think so either. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. Oh, my goodness, look at that. He is cheating. He's gotten a big old sledgehammer. And he's knocking into it. That's terrible. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled. And they were very frightened indeed. So look, they're getting out. They're escaping before the whole thing falls down. Thank goodness they got away. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Well, that seems like a good idea. Concrete is like what you use on sidewalks. That's pretty strong. 
Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. Look at that. They're working together as a team to build their concrete house. It should be pretty strong, I would think. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battle door and shuttlecock in the garden, and when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and shut the door. Um, the game they're playing is like badminton. Badminton. I'll show you the picture so you can see. See, it's got the, it, they got a racket, and here's the little uh, um, shuttlecock. The pig rang the bell and said, Little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china tea pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. It is strong, so it did not get knocked down. Not yet, anyway. Oh, you know he doesn't play fair, right? He does not play fair, so what do you think he's going to do? Come up with an idea. But the pig wasn't called, wasn't he called, what was he not called, friends? He wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his drill and smashed the house down. Oh my goodness, look at that. You see them out in the road doing that drill like that because that's what it takes to go through like concrete. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling. Trembling means when it's like moving like this. And they're so scared. They got away. I'm so glad. We shall build, build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Determined means you do not give up, right? You say, I think I can, I think I can. Just then, they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Wow, that's some really hardcore stuff. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars and armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. Look at that house. Wow. All kinds of stuff. It really looks like nobody could ever get in there. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house, bolted the door, and locked all the 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video interest phone and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. Look, he does not give up, does he? No, 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 said the little wolves by the hair on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought, are you ready for it? He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit the fuse. Look at him. He is big and bad. Watch out. What did he do? He lit the fuse, remember? Wow. Look at that, friends. Look at that. What happened? What happened? It exploded, he said. 
the house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tail scorched. Scorched means it got burned. Did you see them? Here they are. They're down there getting away. Am I showing you the right side? Well, here are they. <laughs> it's hard sometimes. I'm looking at this backwards, so. There's the, there's the pig over here. And there's the wolves escaping there. Yeah. It's hard when it's a big page like that. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different. But what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? Asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. There's the flamingo. Wow, flowers? Does that seem like a good idea, friends? Look, at it. it does look beautiful, but it doesn't look very strong. But maybe they have a plan. What do you think their plan could be? Hmm. What do you want to predict? Okay, here we go. One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers, and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house, and it swayed in the wind, but it was very beautiful. Next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. What do you think he's thinking when he sees their house of flowers? Hmm. He's probably going to laugh at them maybe, huh? He rang the blue bell at the door and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. There they are, they're hanging on to each other. They're not inside anything strong this time, are they? But it didn't help when they were last time. Or the time before that, or the time before that. Okay. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. Instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big, good pig. He started to sing and dance the Tarantella. There he is. Look at him dancing in the flowers. The wolves are watching him. This kind of reminds me of, of the Grinch who stole Christmas, right? When he hears everybody singing at the end, and then his heart changes from being bad to being good. At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick. But soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house. They started playing games with him. There they are. They look like they're having fun. And look at their pretty house in the background. First they played pig pog and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. Look at that. He's just playing with them. He's not trying to hurt them. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. I like this ending a lot better than the original story. How about you? Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.